All right, folks, here we go. This is an equipment test. Um, I'm here at the container. I've got my little setup outside right here. Um, Mike built a little front porch patio, which is perfect. And let me get my hat on straight. <laughs> so here we go. So here it is. This is fascinating. I can't tell you how surreal this is for me. This is just very interesting stuff. Let me pause. Okay, so I'm just doing some equipment test and making sure everything works. I want to make sure my mic levels are okay. I'm outside and there's, you know, there's people that walk by and I don't want to be sitting here going, ah! <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, this is fascinating. What what an interesting thing, you know, on this on this wall over here, you have New York being destroyed by uh, water, tidal waves, and uh, fire. It says Jeremiah fifty one forty two, and the waves have come up over Babylon. I, I saw someone write in the comment section. They said, "Well, the USA isn't Babylon." It's amazing how people's listening skills are so bad sometimes. I specifically said, I'm not saying that the United States is Babylon. The whole host body system is mystery Babylon. Um, but some people just don't listen. So the waves have come up over Babylon. We are uh, a representation of Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. And that's why the Statue of Liberty, which is literally Lucifer, sitting there with the torch with the imprisoned lightning which is all of us so anyway and here the waves are coming up over babylon and on this side is the tree of life and uh it looks like uh you know what a prophetic place to be i'm, I'm literally looking right here i can see rainbow and casimir and i'm looking out at the mountains and the hills right over there and let me show you something this is just fascinating uh, you know, you guys saw that in September, I guess, 25th of 2017, during that video, I mentioned uh, that some people had made a comment, why would you make a graven idol, a graven image? And I, I just said, that's just absurd to say that. It's not a graven image. This is a container, and it is a representation of, you know, the paradigm and what's been communicated to me. And I said, it's no different. Then Noah was told to build an ark, and then I mentioned in that same video, I said, you know, it's, um, you know, the container is a representation of the New Jerusalem, which is the new city of peace. That's what New Jerusalem means. It means the new city of peace. And isn't it just amazing that the day that I finished the container and I did that video with Clay in San Antonio, here we are almost a year later, um, and... This container is at the corner of Rainbow and Covenant of Peace. It's even bigger than, it means proclamation of peace and a proclamation, you know, a public proclamation uh, can be a covenant. And as well as the word Casimir means to take the glory from another king. Wow. And it's kind of funny. I'll just, you know, I'll just speak plainly. I mean, think about it. <laughs> Just think about this. Just <laughs> check this out. So God takes this vampire skydiving miscreant <laughs> named Jonathan Clegg to bring down Satan's kingdom to take his glory from him. It's like, uh, God's got one serious sense of humor. Uh, I remember one day I was at my house and I was um I was in my living room. This was years ago, before I lived where I live now. Actually. One, two, three addresses before, you know, the address that I'm in now. Anyway, I was in my living room on the street called Callahan, and and I was standing in the living room, and I said, you know, Lord, why did you show me all this stuff? Why did you show me this stuff? And I was working on the hieroglyph, and I was kind of freaking out. I was like, why would you show this to me? And I heard the Lord say, open the Bible. So I went over and I opened this Bible. I opened up the Bible. And when I looked at it, it said, I will use the things this world considers foolishness to confound the wise. And I thought about it. <laughs> and I remember I looked at the ceiling and I went, 
Well, that's kind of a left-handed compliment, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's like foolishness. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of funny. Uh, it's it's quite it's so apropos, you know. It's just like wow. It's just it's crazy. So we're li I'm literally here at the corner of Rainbow and Casimir, and the container that I said it's like a representation, you know, just like Noah built an ark, and just like you know, it's a, it's a representation of the New Jerusalem, which is the new covenant of peace. <laughs> And then it ends up at the corner of Covenant of Peace and Rainbow Avenue. It's like, it's so crazy. It's like, I'm just like, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> you know, it's just like, what's going to happen? <laughs> so anyway, it's classic. It's just classic stuff. Anyway, so, okay, well, this is my check-in video, and... All the lights work, I think. Yeah, they're all working. You know, it's kind of kind of early in the morning here. Um, yeah, it's it's ten twenty here, and so the sun's back over there. So I have this little table set up with an umbrella, like on the porch, right in front of this. And as it gets darker, we're gonna be able to see all this stuff lit up. It's gonna be super cool, super cool. <laughs> This is so fun, man. This is awesome. I think I'm going to get to see the end of my faith pretty soon. And, you know, I want to be very clear. You know, I know how people get, people get really edgy. It's like, guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it happens today or tomorrow or in a month. But we can see it happening now. I mean, the Great, the great Delusion started. I don't know if you guys have seen. Um, here, let me show you something. Like, you know, Whoopi Goldberg had Judge Janine on, on um, her show, The View. And if you've looked at The View, that's the one where, you know, Barack Obama was on there. And, and Whoopi Goldberg says, I ask you, who are we? What are we? <laughs> it's, that's a perfect question for his creatures to be asking him, considering who he is. It's a perfect question. And Barack Obama says, well, first of all, we're all Americans. Well, if you know the origin of the word American, it means feathered serpent. <laughs> so first of all, we're all feathered serpents. <laughs> and then he says, and we're all tied together. We're all linked together. Okay, you got that right. You got that right. And then he says, um, and then he says, um, and we all have this reptilian part of our brain. <laughs> it's like, dude, he just came out and told Whoopi exactly who they are. It's exactly correct. Well, so when Judge Janine went on the other day, and, you know, they're freaking out on the Trump derangement syndrome, uh, Whoopi Goldberg freaked out of her mind and just freaked out. And they're literally calling good bad and bad good. That's what they're doing. You know, she goes, well, I've never seen anyone whip up hate like Donald Trump and beat the hell out of people. It's like, wait a minute. That's what... That's what the left is doing, Antifa and all these groups. If they don't like what you're saying, they're going to beat you up, and they're they're calling good, bad, and bad good. This is the great delusion, the strong delusion, and this is also a representation of the devil is a collective consciousness. So, it's a collective consciousness, and so I just have so many texts coming in. It's like stop. So anyway, so it's a collective consciousness, and the devil has come down to you in great anger because he knows he has a little time left. I want to show you guys a video that I saw this morning. Again, I do not subscribe to, you know, the left or the right. I don't, that's just, it's a puppet show that the enemy uses to pit both against each other so he can get his reaction. I don't participate, but there is one side that's demonstrably believes in lies and in calling good, bad, and bad good. And then there's the other side, the right, that's trying to get the truth out. And it's it's really quite fascinating. It's like, oh my goodness. Hang on one sec, folks. Let me turn this off. Okay. And so anyway, let me show you a quick video. Watch this. Okay, so I want you all to watch this just because you can see it happening now. You know, again... People have lost their civility. They're not, they've lost their minds. Um, the left is turned, they're freaking out. And the reason is because the spirit that's inside of them, the devil, has come down to you in great anger. 
for he knows he has a little time left. Why do you think the left's going, oh my God, Trump's going to kill us all. He's going to start World War III. See, because that spirit knows that their time is limited now. And so they're freaking out. And that's why there's this major division. It's not just in the U.S. This is this, they call it Trump derangement syndrome. It's over the whole world right now. And so the whole world's divided right now. It's crazy. But watch this, because who's their guy? Barack Obama, right? Watch what's going on. Watch this. Check this out. This is fascinating. The return of Barack Obama, that is the subject of tonight's Waters Words. The former president has been relatively quiet since leaving office, but popped up in South Africa this week. You could tell Obama was angry that his legacy has been erased. He lashed out at the man who did the erasing. Unfortunately, too much of politics today seems to reject the very concept of objective truth. People I'm going to pause it there for a second. And I'm going to look at you. Are you kidding? Objective truth? That guy's one of the biggest liars I've ever seen in my entire life. He's like, he's the one that started all this Russian collusion crap. It all goes to him, to his presidency, all of it. So it's pretty fascinating that he would say objective truth. Well, unto them who call good bad and bad good. Remember the Acts of Peter? And changed about all marks of their nature so that those things that were not fair to be fair and those things that were in truth evil to be good. So they changed about, they change everything. They turn everything upside down and backwards. Okay, just want to make that comment. Now watch. People just make stuff up. We see the, the utter loss of shame among political leaders where they're caught in a lie and they just double down and they lie some more. Pause. Wow. That is exactly what he did. That's all they're doing. They're just doubling down, line, line, Russian collusion, Russian collusion. It doesn't matter. This whole thing is destined for destruction, no matter what, because everything's divided now. Jesus said, any kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. We all know he's calling the president, President Trump, a liar. But President Obama, <clears throat> have you no shame? If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you like your health care plan, you will be able to keep your health care plan, period. There is no spying on Americans. Uh, you know, we don't have a domestic spying program. There are neighborhoods where it's easier for you to buy a, a handgun and clips than it is for you to buy a fresh vegetable. Now, to be fair, all politicians bend the truth. Some are just smoother than others. But Barack... You lied about terror attacks, your tax policy, your scandals. The difference? The media covers Trump's fibs and covered up yours. Speaking of the press. The free press is under attack. Censorship and state control of media is on the rise. President Obama didn't attack the press as much as Trump does. He didn't need to because 90 percent of the media was on his side. And there's been more fake news about Trump in one year than there was in eight years under Obama. Let that sink in. Let's not forget, though, when Obama went after the media, he went pretty hard. You know, he spied on reporters from the AP and Fox News, constantly attacked this network. The Espionage Act, he used it almost more than any other president combined to go after reporters and leakers. And even the Washington Post said it was the least transparent administration of all time. But President Obama told his audience in Africa, we are living in strange times. They are strange. And they are uncertain. With each day's news cycles bringing more head spinning and disturbing headlines. I remember being disturbed at headlines during your administration. Remember, our president bows to foreign leaders, racial riots all over streets across America, a rash of domestic terror attacks, a young woman shot dead by a deported illegal alien felon the worst economic recovery since World War II. And remember our president laughing, golfing, and fist bumping after an American was beheaded? It's like Obama's got no self-awareness at all. 
Here's another example. You can be proud of your heritage without denigrating those of a different heritage. I guess Obama doesn't agree with his own pastor. Oh, I am so glad that I got a God who knows what it is to be a poor black man in a country and a culture that is controlled by and run by rich white people. He taught me, Jesus did, how to love my enemies. I'm going to pause this. What you just saw there is complete insanity. This man's claiming to be a preacher of the word? That's insane. He's insane. Delusional. That's delusional, what you just saw there. That is complete delusion. I mean, just watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that back. Just watch. And that's, that's what's coming. This is what's coming. so glad that I got a God who knows what it is to be a poor black man in a country and a culture that is controlled by and run by rich white people. He taught me, Jesus did, how to love my enemies. Jesus taught me how to love the hell out of my enemies. Barack Obama was married by that guy, Reverend Wright, and he sat in those pews for 20 years. But now says Trump gives license to bigotry? Recall the media spiked this picture of Obama with Farrakhan. Total hypocrisy, which leads us to this. There's only so big a house you can have. There's only so many nice trips you can take. So many nice trips you can take. So big a house you can have. So big a house you can have. There, there's only so many nice trips you can take. <laughs> I mean, it's enough. <laughs> Is it though? Here's Barack Obama enjoying a tropical trip on billionaire Rich Branson's world-class yacht. And here is the $8 million mansion that the Obamas purchased after leaving the White House. Notice how big a house you can have. ...leads us to this. There's only so big a house you can have. ...$8 million mansion that the Obamas purchased yacht. And here is the $8 million mansion that the Obamas purchased after leaving the White House. Notice how it has a little wall around it for security. I thought walls were racist. I guess not. So I think President Obama should take advice from another former president. I don't think it's good for the country to have a former president uh, undermine a current president. I think Okay, again, I don't do a lot of politics. I don't. Because I know the political spectrum is the Hegelian dialectic. You pit one, the antithesis, against the, uh, the synth I'm sorry. You pit the thesis against the antithesis, and then you get the synthesis. That's what they're after. And so the whole thing is pure and utter nonsense. But you can see the hypocrisy worn to them who call good bad and bad good. It's pure, pure hypocrisy. Let us create man in our own image. The word for man, what is it? Y'all know what it is? Y'all remember what I taught you the word for man is? What does the Bible say the word for man is? Let us create man. Genesis 1. So Elohim said, let us create man in our own vain show. But what's the word for man? Here we go, Genesis 1. Verse 26, so Elohim, God's angels and magistrates that are of the supreme God, uh, it's many in one, by the way, he pluribus unum, said, let us make man, look at this, ready, 
a human being hypocrite in our image a phantom because see when you realize there's a race of locusts below ground that are running the puppets above ground picture a bluetooth line from the pit locusts to a bunch of humans walking around and that's the signal do you remember lady the lady gaga impersonator in the video i showed you where they pull a locust out of her vagina they made sure they gave that high pitched noise to that locust let me show you okay so here you go so i want to show you something before i show you this watch this remember uh the definition for cain in the bible it's a different word for man and adam knew hava his wife and she conceived and bare and bare cain but she had already had sex with the angel the serpent and she said i have gotten a man from the lord the word for man is a different a different word it's a bloodthirsty incurably sick wicked incurably sick wicked bloodthirsty man it's not the same as adam but watch the name of cain watch this watch the name of cain okay here's the word cain right and cain now i'm going to click on it it says look kaji in the name of the first child and watch it says the original sense of fixity a lance as in striking fast a spear and that was lucifer having sex with her now watch look at this cain to strike a musical note to strike a musical note that's a frequency watch that's why this locust is making a noise oh my god did you hear the noise Oh my God. So anyway, so this is, this is all proven out now. This, you know, so there's a, there's a voice, a consciousness that's telling everybody what to do above ground, telling everyone what to do. And those that are the original, you know, they say, like I've shown you those, you know, posters that say, hang out with a local and they'll be upside down because they know. And you're just the sheep that are the food source in their world. Do you understand? And so that, that signal like Cain to strike a musical note, that's, that's what's controlling them. It's a frequency. It's a consciousness. And so inside our heads, we have opposing, you know, you, you ever see the little picture where there's a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other, both talking into the air what to do? Well, you can't beat that system so you have to do that and get rid of that other voice. So get rid of the demon that's controlling you. Everyone has one. Anyway, it's fascinating. It's really amazing stuff. Okay, anyway, this was just a test video, but kind of got off on some tangents. <laughs> I just got so much data. I'm like, ah. <laughs> anyway, so let's see what happens. You know, we never know whether or not we got one day left or a couple hours, a month. Who knows? I don't know. But I'm here just... I'm here being obedient to what I was told to do. Okay, guys, God bless. Be safe.